The Gecko device is easy to fit and can be applied in just 60 seconds to one or both legs. On the front is a location marker, the line of arrows, to correctly position the device, plus and minus buttons to switch the device on and off and to change stimulation levels. Two indicator lights. On the reverse are two electrodes that make contact with the skin. Before fitting the device, first find the location where the device is to be secured. It can be found on the outside of the leg, just below the level of the knee, at the centre of the fibula head. The fibula head can be felt as a round protrusion at the very top of the fibula bone. To find the fibula head, run your fingers downwards from the centre of the kneecap to the tibia bone, just below the kneecap. Working towards the outside of the leg, you'll come first to a prominent piece of bone called the tibial tuberosity. Moving over the bone, continue towards the outside of the leg and moving very slightly downwards, feel your way to the head of the fibula bone. It can be felt as a much larger and more rounded protrusion in comparison to the tibial bone. Alternatively, locate the fibula head by placing your fingers on the ankle bone, on the outside of the leg, and in the groove between the calf muscles and the muscles at the front of the leg, run your fingers upwards towards the knee until you feel the round protrusion at the top of the fibula bone, the fibula head. To open the pack, simply peel the two ends of the foil pouch apart. Inside, you'll find two gecko devices. One grey abrasive skin preparation pad. The pad is in two parts, so that a clean one is available for each leg. Two skin preparation wipes for cleaning the skin. And one instruction leaflet. Read the instruction leaflet carefully to familiarise yourself with the warnings and precautions and only use the devices as instructed. Using the grey abrasive pad, gently exfoliate the area of skin where the device will go that will make contact with the electrodes. Once a week should be sufficient for this process. Do not over exfoliate, especially if the skin is fragile or may become damaged through abrasion. Stimulation can often be achieved without exfoliation and then wipe thoroughly with the skin preparation wipe. This prepares the skin for good electrical contact and ensures good adhesion. For best results, remove any moisturiser if present. This can be removed effectively with soap and water prior to the light exfoliation and alcohol wiping. Using trimmers and clippers, remove any excess hair. Avoid wet shaving as this can damage the skin and increase the risk of irritation. After 30 seconds, allowing the skin to dry completely with the device switched off, peel off the protective film from the long end first. Secure the device to the leg so that the location marker, the line of arrows, is positioned directly over the centre of the fibula head. Next, remove the protective film from the short end and secure this to the front of the leg. Correctly fitted, the longer tail should wrap around to the rear of the leg, below and parallel to the crease of the knee. This will place the negative electrode over the common perineal nerve and will position the plus button at the front of the leg and the minus button to the rear. Once in position, use a short press of the plus button, 0.5 seconds, to activate the device. The device will start once the button is released. And further short presses to set the appropriate level reached when there is a slight visible movement of the muscles in the lower leg, moving the foot outwards and upwards slightly. To accommodate any variation in stimulus due to leg position changes, simply turn the setting up or down. There are seven stimulation levels in the Gecko T2. The settings are indicated by the number of flashes in sequence from the LED lights while the device is operating. In most cases, levels three or four are ideal. To reduce the levels one by one, use a short press, 0.5 seconds, of the minus button. To turn the device off completely, hold either the plus or minus button down for three to four seconds. Note that when the button is pressed, the LED light will flash rapidly to confirm its operation. To remove the gecko, gently lift the long end of the device, taking care to peel the adhesive gel off the skin along with the device. Lift it away from the leg progressively without bending it double. This will preserve the device and prevent damage to the skin. Note if the primary location does not produce movement of the muscles, stimulation may be achieved using the alternative fitting locations, slightly above or below and parallel to the crease at the back of the knee, with the location marker aligned to the outer tendon. See www.geckodevices.com for further details on alternative locations.
for additional security of position, fit an on-pulse knee strap over the device. To fit the knee strap, first ensure that the device is located correctly on the leg. Place the strap over the device with the round casing through the hole. Ensure the buckle on the short strap is positioned at the front of the leg. Take the long end and wrap it around the back of the leg and secure the main wider part of the strap over the short end using the fastening material. Take the very end of the long strap and thread it through the buckle, then return to the back of the knee and secure with the fastening material. Alternatively, to secure the device, use micropore tape. Apply the tape at each end of the device to hold in position.